that's on my mind I just take this one day at a time Never lose a step, I'm on my grind If you think it you could be it, so I say it in my rhymes So many dreams that I wanna achieve Look myself in the mirror like I believe Wanna get your day going, it's the fix you need Work hard so I can feed my nephew and my niece What I do it for a family, do it to get a Grammy Do it to be the greatest, earliest and the latest Niggas that try to play us, wishing they never did Trying to do me favors, seeing that I'm ahead Blood out of struggle, walking over troubled puddles Hustles on my chest, no hustle, no Gen Y, Gen X, Millennials, Generation Me, Generation Internet. You know who you are. You've been crushed, hit hard by this economy. So if you're dealing with college debt, I mean, maybe you're even trying to move out of your parents' house or start a new business. Look, the only way you're going to be able to do that is to be able to produce and to get people to pay you what you're worth. I'm fighting for your generation. I'm not counting you out. I believe in you. We're here to give young hustlers the advice and tools they need to succeed in the 21st century. Bam! What's up, man? Bam! I'm putting you down. Got you scoped up, lined up in the scope. I'm putting you down. You getting dangerous? I'm putting you down. You running up to something brand new? It's Thursday. You dragging it around? It's Young Hustler Pow! Day. Pow! I'm putting Done. you down. Done. Hey, welcome, welcome. Every Thursday. Young Hustlers, man. At Jared Glant. At Grant Cardone. We bring you Young Hustlers. Hustlers, isn't, isn't about the age. Is it about the age no, or about man, the hustle? It's, it's about the hustle, man. It's about the activity. It's about the mindset. It's about doing what's Keeping right. Keeping it fresh. Dude, Billy's been hustling. Huh? I heard I heard Elena fed him yesterday. She fed him yesterday. That's right. Hey, like, great to have you guys on the show. If you're, if you're watching on Grant Cardone TV, if you want to call in, call in or text in 305. No text, no text. No text today. 305 305-865-8668, 305-865-8668, 305-865-8668, and please, Share please, please do me a stream. favor, brothers and sisters, sisters and brothers. I got, let me tell you what I'm going to do, okay? For everybody that streams today, everybody shares. that shares yeah, the yeah, stream yeah, today, yeah. what can we do, man? I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you guys something, okay? Let me figure it out. Let me give you, give me to the first break to figure out what I'm gonna give you. But we, I would just jump ahead and just start sharing now. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Cause yeah. it's gonna be something good. I'm gonna give you a link to something that we're gonna do. Maybe that 13 minutes we just saw. It's sick, man. I just saw a presentation I did, I was like, whoa. You got a lot of stuff out there. Dude, we were just talking I'm a about how, guy, much, how much stuff that we have that people, people don't even know about. We have an archive of material that mm -hmm. people have been paying me to go speak, okay? And, I, and many of you may not know this, Jared knows it. And Jared tries to get me not to do this. Because every time on the way out to a gig, I'm, read, I'm literally writing, telling the story. So the, I, in, in the six years that I've been with Grant, he's never done the same presentation twice. Like literally, he's never done the same thing twice. And it drives me crazy because we're going to the deal, we're in the plane, we're working on it, we're in the hotel, he's changing this, he's changing that. Because the, every but, group's different. Yeah, and every the, group's the benefit is, is that you, you always get something fresh and new. Yeah, I did I did the Pentagon. I mm -hmm. did Columbia Military. I did uh, Ally Benning. Bank. Yep. I did Fort Benning. I did Google. A P PHP, which is a bunch of mo uh, network marketing Finance, that are younger yep, people. Financial services. Then I go do this Ally Bank thing. It's a bunch of older guys, right, and gals. The the uh, Northwestern Mutual deal? I did the Northwest. Oh, my God, we have that one, man. Okay, yeah. so these are all different messages. And we just found, we just sat down this morning and said, what are our assets? Sets. Mm -hmm. It's a way to make money, by the way. It's a way yeah. to increase income. I talk about the it products. in a millionaire book. The products, right? you already have them. They don't need to be created. They're already done. And these people, like Ally Bank paid 40000 mm -hmm. uh, Mutual of... Uh, Northwestern Mutual. When we were giving away my speaking gigs, yeah. they paid 40000 plus mm -hmm. air travel. And, and I'm like, hey, let's take that content. We own it. Mm -hmm. Let's repackage it. So I'm, anyway, everybody that shares today, everybody that shares... Uh, number one, I appreciate you sharing because it gets our message to more people. And number two, I'm going to give you something for doing that today. We are talking about what today? Gorilla, what? Gorillas, man. 
Gorillas. Hey, the big silverback, I want to know, 305-865-8668. Dude, they put down, what's, what was his name anyway? I don't remember. Frankie or something like that. Nah, it wasn't Frankie. You guys know Hamambe. the name? George? Huh? Hamambe. Hamambe? Are you, are you in the microphone? Yeah. Hamambe. Hamambe. Anyway, a three-year-old falls in through a gate at a zoo, Cincinnati Zoo. Mm -hmm. We do have the video. Silverback gorilla weighs 458 pounds. Can you play the piece? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Give me everybody real quick. Oh, oh, my God. God. oh, my God. Hi, Dan. Hey, everybody, okay, everybody back up. I'll take you. He's trying to switch. Okay. It's gonna make you Mommy loves you. I'm right here. Thank you for taking care of it. No, he's, he's playing with it. He's playing. A four-year-old boy falls 12 feet into a zoo. Oh, you got, dude, no, they, he, they killed him. They shot dude, him. Dude, then, then, then the silverback picks up the kid by his pants, like in the back of his pants, picks him up like this, and everybody's like, oh, my God, stay calm. And the, the people are screaming. The zoo should have removed all the people. Yeah. Okay. And, and they were scared, and then he pushes the kid again, but he never hurts the kid. The yeah. kid's kind of not even crying. It was freaking crazy, and they put the gorilla down. So I Did, wrote do an they article. have that part on video? No, I, I want to see him put that freaking silver bag down. So, and when I'm watching this, I'm like, two things came to me. One is, who's the gorilla? Dude, you're going to have to put me down. Yeah. I am the silver bag. You better freaking hit me right here and put me down, tap me out. And the second thing I thought about was all the friends, people in your life, the customers that we've had. I thought about that customer yeah, yeah, in yeah. Indianapolis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should have put that guy down before he put us down. Yep. I thought about the employee that we had here mm -hmm. that quit on us, and I'm like, why didn't we put him down? Today's about, are you willing to put down the gorilla in your life? And what it is and how to find it. You know? So that your life doesn't become a zoo. Because a lot of times, you know, things may all be great and fine. The gorilla's just kind of playing around with you, yeah. not hurting you, yeah. not make. But yeah. then all of a sudden, boom! Because that silverback, that silverback could have snapped a big that old kid's bite head. Out of your ass. I'm gonna tell you something. If it was my three-year-old daughter, mm -hmm. it'd be a no-brainer, man. Put that gorilla down. Mm -hmm. The whole world is in outrage right now about yeah. the gorilla getting shot. But the truth is, folks, I think the world is in outrage because nobody wants to confront tough stuff. Yeah. Okay, so today we're gonna to be talking about when do you put your customer down? When is the customer no longer good for your business? Mm -hmm. We've had people like that, right? Yeah, totally. When is the employee no longer good for you? And when is there a friend in your life that you need to blast them right between the head? But hey, just put them down, put them down. When's there a family member in your life? Relatives, family, friends. Put them down. Habits. You're watching Habits. Young Hustlers. Appreciate you being here at Jared Glant. Fall is always the moment when you have to redefine yourself. Easy is not part of success. Easy is not part of life. When I was 33 years old, I faced the lowest point in my life. I was bulk and drug addictions. And here I stand in front of you in the top 1% of car sales in the United States. Quitting was never an option for me. I keep pushing for my son, for my dreams, and what I'm attempting to create for my own life. My name is Mark Jennison, and this is The Comeback Corner. I was a millionaire twice and I've lost it all twice. And now I'm here to show you what it takes to come back and stand in the face of adversity, even if that adversity is yourself. This show is designed to prove that no matter how far you fall, no matter how great the defeat or failure, there's always a comeback. There's always an opportunity to redefine yourself, redefine who you are, and come back stronger, better, and faster than before. To learn more about Mark and his story, check out markjennison.com. That's markjennison.com. Knowing real estate investing, there's a lot to know, and it can be extremely overwhelming on how to get started. That's where the experts at King of Flips come in. Available right now is an exclusive real estate program, King of Flips University, that teaches you everything you need to know on how to invest, how to save money, and invest even with no money. Accessible anywhere at any time, let the industry experts teach you how to make millions in real estate. King of Flips University is a one-of-a-kind experience where you will be assigned a multi-million dollar investor coach to help you get started on knowing how to invest in real estate. Learn the right markets, learn the right signs, and get well on your way to becoming an 
an expert in real estate investing. Visit kingofflips.com. That's kingofflips.com to get started right now. Everyone has the secret to standing out from your competition. The true answer lies in the application of appreciation. Jay McHugh stands at the forefront of appreciation marketing. He has taken a business from $83 million to over $1 billion in real estate sales through this simple application of appreciation. Take the time to go the extra mile with Jay's appreciation marketing system, Send Out Cards. Get in front of your customers in a personal, traditional way, show them appreciation, and deliver an experience that is unforgettable. To register and find out more, go to randomactsofcardness.com. That's randomactsofcardness.com. Put that gorilla down. This is Young Hustlers. Every Thursday, GC and I come here to bring you the truth and what's real about what Put you need to do. Put that gorilla down. That's what I say. Put him down, man. Now look, I know Pete is going to be freaking out on what I'm saying. I know all you guys out there that love animals and love the endangered species. Here's the deal, man. You're getting endangered because you're not willing to make hard choices. It's the truth. Well, okay. a lot of times people don't even know that a gorilla can be harmful. Dude, what do you mean, man? Well, I'm just you saying. You need to see that video again. Dude, man. I'm just saying in your life, you know, like when you're looking around and there's a gorilla there, it may be yeah, under disguise. Like, like what would be a, a gorilla in disguise? Yeah, like with what the What would suit, that be man? like? Would it be, be like a cousin? It could be a cousin. Could it could be a cousin. Be, dude, it could be your parents, man. Could be your uncle. It could be friends or co workers. People that are always talking down, making you not feel good. People that. Like who? Like, has that ever happened? Yeah, totally, man. You know, just when, when people say stuff that doesn't make you feel good or. Uh, I remember this kid, I forget what his name was, but he was such a punk in middle school, man. I, fu- I hated that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, because he was always making me feel bad. You yeah, know? yeah, like, yeah. like and, what, what would he say? What would he do? Oh, you know, you're stupid, your shoes suck, you know, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, you know, yeah. just stupid shit, you yeah, know? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But like, there's just those people that are around you. Like the guy, remember the jet? Oh, yeah, the totally. guy. The, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Grant, your yeah, jet's the, ugly. You have that, an ugly that, jet. That, that model's ugly. Yeah. Yeah. So it's. So compared, it's to one you, the, compared to the one you, you have. Yeah. So, so I think that it's just identifying that the gorilla, you know, and finding those people. Out. Who, who are those people? Put that gorilla down. Pow. Okay. Hey, what do you think? Should they have shot the silverback? If it was your three-year-old, what would you say? Okay, because they're like, oh, they could have tranquilized the thing. Dude, my three-year-old's with that, that gorilla. Yeah. I don't need it to be tranquil. I need it to be dead right now, okay, on its back. And I, I love animals, mm-hmm. okay? If you got people in your life, People in your company, okay? Maybe you don't own the company. Maybe you don't operate the company. You got somebody in your division Mm -hmm. and they're freaking slacking and jacking and wasting time and like, dude, we work so hard here. Yeah. Dude, that's a gorilla that needs to be put down. Yeah. Okay. You got you got somebody in your life. We talk about this a lot, man, because For sure. I think the world's shocked about this because the world, we're basically hitting up against a bunch of soft people. They can't confront. They can't confront, mm-hmm. unwilling to do the hard things, unwilling to pull that trigger, right? I mean, they're pra- you've been seeing my Snapchats with the dummy hit, hit dude? the dummy yeah. thing. Dude, 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 let me tell you something, guys. If you guys aren't willing to pull the trigger on friends, family, employees, Okay, why habits, should, why should people, rituals, routines, you know? Exactly. If you can't pull the trigger on your environment, I'm going to tell you, your life is going to end Smoking up. Smoking the weed every day. End up like a zoo. Mm-hmm. Okay, and you're going to be the freaking spectator in that zoo. Because okay. eventually, at some point, that gorilla is going to make you a gorilla for somebody else, and then that other person might put your ass down. And do, <laughs> That's right. And do you know what they're doing now? They're, they're saying that the, the parents should be held liable because the kid... Look, I've had kids get out of my, I, I got yeah. my eyes on my kids and all the next thing they're gone. I, I yeah. Mean, I mean, I, I, I don't know. You know? Well, you know. How did the kid get through the fence though? I don't know, man. Sometimes kids, you know, they're very, very, very crafty. And what's going to happen to this kid, by the way, when he's 18 and every year this happens around May? And they're going to be like, at 18 years old, yeah, you're the kid. He's going to be yeah, like you're that. you're the kid, man. You're, you're the, the kid, kid, dude. And he's, he's going to be a, kill a, be kill a, a drug gorilla addict by then. He's going to be a freaking junkie. Yeah, bummed out. He's going to be a gorilla for somebody else. Yeah, every, he's going to be a gorilla His whole life's going to be identified by the silverback that got shot. The gorilla killer. Dude, are you a gorilla killer? Are you willing to confront the unreasonable? Have you had somebody in your life that you had to handle and say, hey, I'm going to put you down, dude. I'm putting you down, bro, okay? Because if you don't do this, your family's at risk, your business is at risk, your money's at risk, and your freedom's at risk. Lewis in Miami. Lou. Lewis. You guys on Facebook, thank you for sharing. Grant, how are you, buddy? Yo, Yo, what's up, man? Hey, dude, have you ever had to put a gorilla down? Yeah, every day. Quality's so much different. 
Every tell, day, brother. Tell me, tell me, man. Tell me what you did. Born Senate, well, I, I, first of all, I want to thank you for replying to my email I sent you uh, yesterday. So. Cool, uh, man. Thanks for, thanks for replying. I just want to get, you know, I just want you to know who, who it is, you know, who um, trying, I'm trying to help you connect the dots to, you know, that. You know that you're replying to my email, so cool, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lewis. I appreciate you saying that. Hey, hey, dude, have you ever had somebody in your life that you didn't confront a, a person that ended up being a dangerous person in your environment? Yeah, the, the, uh, to keep it short and sweet, it's probably the competition and the day, you know, the, the day to day grind. Uh, you know, we tend to, uh, back away and, you know, fear the competition, but, you know, it's when you can develop the, uh, the talent, as you will, to uh, just, you know, approach it in any way, shape, or form that it comes at you and know that you're going to win either way. You know, you're either going to win or you're going to walk out learning something from it. So Yeah. Hey, Lewis, thanks for calling in, man. See, but I'm not talking about the competition. Yeah. You're talking about the, the people, the clothes, the gorilla, the gorilla that is in your back and grab you by the ankle yeah. and dragging you around the, and, the, the, and, the and, little and thing. And the gorilla, could be, the gorilla could be, hey, how about the customer that's just a pain and, you know, just always, like, you can't always, ever make always, them happy. Always, always, yeah. They never want to pay you enough. Every, whatever they do pay you, then, then they hold you hostage. Yep. Okay, and they're going to quit you anyway. You know it's just a matter of time before they quit. Mm-hmm. And you can never satisfy them. Everybody's had that situation. Dude, that's the silverback. That's that gorilla. That's that 458-pound monster in your head. You go to sleep at night, and, and you know when they leave, they're not going to even tell people. You're never going to get business from them. Ever again. Yeah, people. we talk about that all the time. We're like, and, and you won't put them down. Why? You know why you won't put them down? Like that group in Indianapolis. Yeah. I should have put him down. Yeah. He yeah. was a pain in the ass, dude. Mm -hmm. And I should have put him down. So what we didn't do, we didn't put him down. So he put us down, mm -hmm. right? And I would have much rather been the shooter Surely. than the receiver. Surely you Better to give it. than to receive in that case. I'm with you. I'm with you in there. So who, so let me ask you this, like, at what point do you start saying, like, who's my gorilla? If you don't feel like you're getting drug around by anybody, at what point are you like, man, who is the one that's holding me back? Who's the, peop who's the person, who's the people, what are the things that I'm doing that are holding me back? How, well, do you, how do you just go? I, I think that if you don't, if a person doesn't have the experience of cutting somebody, mm -hmm. friend, family, loved one, customer, employee, if you've never done that, I guarantee you, your zoo is wild. You got somebody, there's no way, there's no way you live on this planet and you don't have somebody in your life that's not dangerous. Right. Okay, they're smoking weed, they're drinking. How many of you Friday night this past weekend watched somebody drink and drive? Dude, that's a gorilla, man. Why don't you put the guy down? Hey, bro, I'm not letting you in the car. It's not going to happen. It won't happen. How many of you men or women out there know somebody having sex with somebody else's boyfriend or girlfriend? Dude, it's not cool, man. Man, that's nasty. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're cheating on you, man. Look, if they'll cheat on their girlfriend, they'll cheat on you. How many of you got customers bad -mouthing? We had a guy at my house. I see it. We had a guy at my house bad -mouthing somebody I've worked with. Mm -hmm. Okay? I didn't pay attention to it. A week later, he's bad mouthing me. Of course he did. He yeah. showed me he was going to do that at my house. Mm -hmm. Hey, stay with us. We're talking about was it okay to put the gorilla down? This is Young Hustlers on Grand Cardone we want you TV. TV.com. Gaining financial independence is what every person seeks in today's world. With so many options when it comes to investing, it can be confusing to know what to do. Specialized IRA services helps you know the right direction to go. Whether you are looking for a self-directed IRA, a retirement account, or need the know-how on funding a new business, Specialized IRA services help you gain control of your assets, your money, and your investments while being educated on the entire process. In removing Wall Street out of your investment, you can be sure to spend less on investment fees, taxes, and make more on your returns. Let the expert team at Specialized IRA Services help you transform your family legacy and secure your financial independence. Visit SpecializedIRAServices.com, that's SpecializedIRAServices.com, to register for more info and receive a free ebook on your guide to financial freedom. That's SpecializedIRAServices.com. It affects every aspect of life. 
How's yours? At Safe Credit Solutions, we dedicate our lives to ensuring you can get the life you want. Safe Credit Solutions are FICO certified consultants, and we are trained to be immediately at your service, find solutions, and repair your credit. Our goal is to grow your credit, add stability, and accomplish the goals you want for your life. With month-to-month services and live monitoring of our progress, we can get results for you within 30 to 45 days. Visit SafeCreditSolutions.com. That's SafeCreditSolutions.com to get a free credit consultation from our expert team. And let's get you on the path to repairing your credit today. That's SafeCreditSolutions.com. Trust, confidence, and results lay the foundation of any marketing campaign. At Rush Impact Marketing, we take pride in helping your automotive dealership generate more traffic, increase gross profit, and deliver a lifetime of results. Rush Impact Marketing is the number one staff to vent, direct mail, digital, and consulting marketing company in the automotive industry with the sole intention of creating a solid and long-term relationship with each of our automotive dealership clients on a personal level. Grow your business, expand your name, generate more profits, utilize every social platform, every piece of mobile technology to get awareness out there about your dealership. Let us show the world who you are. Text SUPERSALE to 555-888 to get started today with your free market analysis. Hey, 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 we're back. Young Hustlers, Thursday noon, East Coast Standard Time to bring you the tips, the tricks, the things that you need to get where you want to go. And today we're talking about handling your gorilla. That person, that thing, that habit, that activity, the thing that you're doing that's just dragging you around the, the pen. The employee, the coworker. Yep. Yep. You know? The 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 poker game you go to with your buddies and you the got girl, somebody. The girl in. or guy you're dating. Yeah. I got I got a buddy told me the other day, he's like, Man, I smoke weed every night. I said, Well, dude, you're not gonna be my friend then. Mm-hmm. You can I can't trust you, man. How are we gonna do business together, man? If if you smoke weed every single night, how are me and you gonna do business together when I'm not smoking weed every night? Mm-hmm. So my energy tomorrow and the next day and the next day is gonna be I'm gonna I'm, I know I can outwork you. So how how would we do a partnership mm-hmm. like that? So the guy's like, hey man, I think you're right, man. So now he's like, might 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 pay yeah, attention yeah. to the situation. Uh-huh. The point is, you gotta confront the gorilla, man. Somebody's gotta confront the risk, the danger in your environment. And one thing that we tell people to do here is, dude, if you would just, first of all, if the parent wouldn't have been at the zoo, they'd have been all right. Yeah. Wouldn't have happened, right? So th- how, how do you not have people infiltrate in your life? Man, you know what I did? I moved away from everything. Like when I literally was, I'd made the decision, I was like, I got to reboot. I got to start fresh. I got to build everything from the ground up the exact way that I want it. I moved, I had no, fa- I had, my fr- fa- family was in a different state. Other family was in a different city. Friends were in a city. I mean, I was like isolated on right. an island. Like, get your stuff together. He fed the beast and starved the other stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, basically in Louisiana, there's this this grass called uh, crabgrass. It's crabgrass, or it's it's called uh, Saint Augustine. Saint uh-huh. Augustine is the is the thickest grass there is. It's so thick, dude. The weeds can't grow. Up, okay, it's like like the, it's just like. So if you could just cover yourself up, that's why our online platform mm-hmm. is so so important for all of you out there. Mm-hmm. We're getting ready to introduce a, a, a program right now called Playbook, uh, Playbook, Playbook to Millions. Millions.com. Yeah. Playbook to Millions.com. It's gonna cover you up. One way to eliminate the gorilla, the danger, okay, in your life, the enemies. The one way to, to keep that weed out is to plant is to cover, submerse, swim in the Kool-Aid, don't drink it. It's like a magic cloak from Harry Potter, right? You know, doesn't he have like a magic cloak that protects I, I, him? I haven't watched any Harry We got Potter, an issue over here, okay. John. Okay, John, clean me up. So tell, tell everybody, when you moved to LA and mm-hmm. started working for me, what really changed things? I mean, what were you listening to every day? Dude, I, I mean, I was, I completely immersed myself in, in, in every area with things that were gonna improve my condition where I was at. It was. You know, waking up in the morning, listening to audio programs while I was getting ready throughout the day, going every break that I had, I was watching content from the platform. When I went home, it was audio programs in the car. It was it was studying, you know, writing out scripts at night over and over and over again. It was going to sleep with the earbuds in my head. I mean, it was like complete I was full on literally immersion. In your head, right? Totally. And when I got out of a treatment center at 25, what I did was I was worried about time. I knew that if I had time off, I was at risk. Mm -hmm. Because I knew my friends, my old friends, the weeds, Mm -hmm. would bring the weed back into my life, right? Mm -hmm. So I just knew this. I was more worried about free time than any other thing. I wasn't worried about them, I was worried about free time. So if I could stay busy, I wasn't going to the zoo. Yeah. 
It's like, it's Dude, like having, if you're busy. It's like having white space on your calendar, you know? Exactly. Like when you, and, and Elena was saying this, she's like, man, at the restaurant, you know, I, she was a waitress back in the day, you know, when she was living in LA, and she's like, man, we, I never made mistakes when it was busy. Right. When it was slow, I was getting distracted, I was doing this, just talking to one of the sales guys this morning. Hey, what are you doing? How have you planned your day? Well, you know, I, I really don't have a plan. I just come in and start working. I'm like, dude, if you don't have, a, if, you, if your calendar isn't filled up and you know right. I gotta go from this to this to this to this to this, you're, you're, you're just, you're existing. You're yeah, not controlling yeah. it. Philip from California, hey man, how you doing? Doing well, guys, how's it going? Appreciate going you calling on, in. Sorry we had you on, on hold so long. PA is Professional Association. Uh. Nothing worth having comes easily, boys. Yeah, yeah man. Go, man. Hey, dude, if you ever had, have you, first of all, what do you think about them putting down that silver back? Um, couple things. I let's be honest. In 17 years, zero other parents have dropped their three-year-old in a pit. Uh, so that says something. I think uh, they might want to take full responsibility as parents and put themselves down for a little bit. Wow. I know a lot of people feel like the parents did something wrong in that deal. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I think mission is still... Uh, still but I, let me let me just say this, okay? I was in the store with my daughter once, okay? And and literally, I, I give them a little bit of room so they have some independence, mm -hmm. right? I'm not on them every second. And the next thing I know, man, I can't see her, and she's around the corner in another aisle, and I freaked out. I mean, I had 30 seconds of like, oh, my God, I was irresponsible. Yeah. Because she was out of sight, right? I'm like, what if I turn this corner and she's gone? I don't think that makes me a bad parent. You know, do you have any kids? I do not. Yeah, yeah. So see. it's easy for me to uh, judge. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so let me ask you, have you had, now transitioning from the silverback gorilla in the zoo to your life, have you ever had anybody in your life that proved to be dangerous that you didn't confront, you didn't put down, and they, they, they ended up inflicting damage on you in your life? Um, you know what, Grant? I, I, Definitely have, and what I decided to do is uh, not necessarily identify any single person, but this summer I just took a, a total diet. I moved um, about 100 miles away to San Diego and um, set some goals that I wasn't going to come up for air until I hit them. Um, I uh, haven't had a drink since I got down here. Wow. Um, I haven't reached out with anyone. And since then, um, I've been 55 straight days in the office. 100% training every day, Cardone U. Dude, wow. awesome, bro. Uh, seminar. Um, I got a manuscript, by the way, in the mail, coming. Uh, a manuscript? Uh, you, but did you buy, you bought the manuscript for the millionaire deal? Come on, man. Dude, yeah. dude, you, he bought the original manuscript. We, we were actually, this is the millionaire book. He got number right? two. Is this Philip Dade? It is. Yeah, yeah you, you got number two. This so, is the guy that sent you the thank you letter. So I just finished writing this book called The Millionaire Booklet. Congratulations, by the way. And we're going to offer a hundred of these manuscripts. The manuscript's a big, it's a big, it's laid out in a book, yeah. Um, and he bought one of them. They're $1,000 each. We're only going to sell a hundred of them. You should get it when you get it. Uh, make sure that you zip, you want to zip it. It's going to be in a notebook. It's going to be in a nice notebook. And then make sure you cover it. In a, in a sealed... Something, man. And throw it in your safe deposit box. Uh, 10 years from now, 15, 20 years from now, wait till I'm dead. It'll even be worth more when I'm dead. Okay? <laughs> uh, and then maybe you sell it or maybe you don't. Okay? Stephen from the UK. It's Stephen. Stephen from the UK. Stephen, what's up? Hey, Uncle G. Come on, man. Yo, yo, Come on. yo. What's up? Uh, I'm 15 years old from the UK. Uh, entrepreneur. Trying to start a business, man. But um, the problem I'm having at the moment is the capital. Basically, I haven't got the money to start the business because it's a software business. I need someone to develop the software. And they're saying it could be tens, tens of thousands, which I don't have at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just That's your first sale, man. That's the first sale you got to make. Any entrepreneur that has a company or an idea or something that they want to start, if they don't have money, the first sale that they have to make is the one to go get the money, man. You got to start selling people on your idea. We pre-sell products all the time. Yeah, right? so yeah. what I was thinking was calling up companies and getting them on lists, thinking like, if I could get you this software, would you buy it? Then I actually go and create the software and then um, pay the software developer and then give them the software afterwards. Yeah, that won't work. Why not? They're going to say, well, well, wait, when you get done with it, man, bring it to me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I mean. I mean, sell them on the software, get them on a list, 
No, no. Oh, who's got? Hey, hey, dude, dude, dude. This is what you got to do. Okay. Okay. Who's, who's got, got your money, man? Money. Who's yeah. got your money? Okay. You can't just start calling a bunch of companies. Because yeah. you're going to be calling. You're going to call a hundred companies just to get three to see you, right? Ugh, maybe. Maybe three will see you. So you need yeah. you need to talk to people that you already know, bro. If you can't get money from people you know, you can't get people from money. Or you can't get money from people you don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys want to tweet something out today? If you can't get money from people you know, I guarantee you can't get money from people Dude, that you was don't. A, that was a Cajun right there. I that guarantee. Was a Cajun conversation, Stefan. Right you he can't get money friends. from people you don't know. So, dude, you got to go to people that you do know and say, hey, I want, to, I want you to be an investor in my company. Yeah. Or I want you to pre-buy my product. Okay? We, we yeah. pre-sell product here all the time. I come up yeah. with an idea. My book, okay? I'm selling my book right now for $4.95. So people that know me and yeah. love me, are gonna be, they're going to support me in this. They're going to be the first people. We're going to run this out. Next week, we're going to ship. We're going to rush ship this thing out. And, and, uh, and, and the first people... They're going to get this are people that I already know. There's no reason for me to try to go sell this book to people that don't even know me yet. Yep. Yeah. But the thing is, the thing is, man, I actually got, I've got money in my bank. Like I could pay for it, but I'm scared of putting that much money out. Yeah. Well, dude, to, if you're scared of it, why is somebody else going to pay you for it? Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. How you how you gonna how you gonna sold. expect people to go all in with you if you can't even go all in sell with yourself? Seller be sold, bro. Man. Seller be sold, man. Seller be sold, man. Seller be sold. And I'm not saying you need to put your own money in it. I'm saying you need to go get money from mommy, daddy, uncles. I mean, aunts, he needs brothers, to be willing sisters. to. You know, he needs to be willing to. If it's that important, if you but, if you're but, that convinced. But you don't have to, because if he didn't have the money, he wouldn't be able to do that. Yeah. If you didn't have the money, dude, you'd have to go. Get money from people that have money, okay? Now look, there's no way around this. Mark Cuban says you should never borrow money to start a business. Yeah. You should sell your way. You should sell your products, okay? Okay, also, please, folks, remember this. Thank you so much, Stefan, for calling. We're, we're almost 10,000 people have signed our petition wow. for the VA. Now, I don't know how you guys are all complaining about, I don't have time, we don't have time. Dude, you know how many projects we got going on over here? Add new ones every day. A lot. And I'm like, hey, let's help the vets, man. My office is like, what, dude? We're freaked out, man. We got new products. We got this going, that going. Me and Robert are sitting there saying, hey, I just found these seven things. We got to archive it. And let's help the vets, man. Let's help the vets. GrantCardone.com forward slash petition. Petition. Yeah, petition. Petition, yeah. We have almost 10,000 people signed up right now. 10,000. That's huge numbers for a petition. I think, well, once you get to a certain point, they actually they got to pay attention They, they got to respond man. to I need 30,000 to, to, to jam this. Yeah. Down somebody's throat and say, pay attention to this or get some media on it. So grantcardone.com forward slash petition. It's the goal is to get the VA, we're trying to get the VA, the head of the VA fired, Robert McDonald, who is a gorilla, by the way. He's a gorilla that needs to be shot because he's dangerous to vets. Yep. 300,000 vets died waiting for VA health care. Waiting in line, man. Dude, dude, if McDonald's ran their company like that, the Golden Arches would go upside down. Oh yeah. You sound really excited today, man. Are you excited? What does that mean? Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Justin from North Carolina. <laughs> Justin, what's up? Justin from North Carolina. What's up? Justin. Come what's on, up? Justin. What's up, GC? Come on, man. What's going on? What's going on with you, brother? Uh, just in uh, at North Carolina right now, we're at a property that we're about to put under contract. We're uh, real estate investors in Raleigh, North Carolina. That's great, man. Twenty years old. Hey, let me ask you something, Just. Uh, have you had a time in your life where you had a gorilla in your life that you didn't confront, you didn't shoot, you didn't take him down, and he ended up jerking you around the zoo? Um, my my father actually. Um, he actually, we've had a bad relationship all of my life, and uh, I actually man. just recently confronted the situation um, that's been going on for a long time. And the, the, once I confronted it, uh, the situation has actually gotten better times like ten thousand. Wow, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. So, how hard was that for you to do? It took a lot of courage and a lot of character and a lot of like. Um, yeah, just courage to, to confront that situation. 
Well, man, congratulations. I'm glad you did that, and your life has gotten better it's as so a result. so hard, man. Those are, those are tough conversations. For sure. Yeah. We, uh, we met up with him last night, and um, then our, our, our whole relationship is just, uh, just different now. That's great, man. Congratulations. Are you on Cardone, you? I'm not. Uh, we talked on Snapchat uh, the other day about we're going to get uh, Cardone, you. We have a deal closing on the 10th where uh, we're getting a substantial assignment fee. And uh, that's when we're going to sign up for card on you. Okay. Well, good, man. Good. Because one of the ways for everybody out there, I mean, you got to figure out, hey, what can I do about this gorilla situation? Because mm-hmm. you got this isn't about the gorilla zoo in Cincinnati. Yeah. Okay. This isn't about shooting a silverback. This isn't about an endangered species. It's about you. Okay. Yep. It's about controlling your environment so it doesn't become zoo-like. And even if you can't get out of your your city, maybe like for Philip, like he moved, he moved to San Diego and cut all ties and did the island thing that I did. But maybe that's not real for you. So that what you do need to do then is then fill up your environment with things that will not give you time for the gorillas. The gorillas will not be allowed to come into your area because you're so committed to doing things. So things like uh, like joining a mastermind group. Yeah, every Wednesday, by the yep. way, 2 p.m. For everybody on Card on You, 2 p.m. Wednesdays, join up here, okay? You mm-hmm. just come in, uh, how, how do they find that? You just go to uh, cardoneuniversity.com forward slash live training. It's a free training for everybody on Card on You. Every Wednesday, we become an extension of your life, right? So if I'm spending, if you're spending more time with me, the silverback's not showing up, folks. It's just not going to happen, okay? Go to seminars. Go to conferences. We're looking at possibly doing a cruise at the end of the year in October where two or 300 people spend a week together. Mm-hmm. Dude, if you're with us on a ship for a week, how's anything bad going to happen to you, man? Unless, I mean, you, unless you bring a gorilla that's, uh, you know, sucking yeah, on the yeah, sauce. Yeah, I mean, some of these people go on these carnival cruises and they fall overboard. Or get pushed. Because I think they were already with some pro- in a problem, mm-hmm. right? So audio, you could be listening to, in, in your earbuds all Dude, day. Podcasts, 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 many, Audible. Do we have the numbers on our podcast? Have literally and articles. Yeah, they, dude, they, they've been the best thing for any. I mean, I didn't have access to this when yeah, I was. You've been in the years top old. five on iTunes. Top five, two, top five, two Cardone of the top Zone, five shows mm-hmm. uh, on iTunes yep. is Cardone Zone and, and Young, Young Hustlers. Mm-hmm. So joining us. Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays. My wife does a show on Wednesdays. Thursdays, me and Jared do a show. Fridays, we, I do a show, Cardone Zone, okay? Mastermind, grantcardonetv.com forward slash mastermind, okay? These are free, man. I'm not trying to sell you something here. I'm telling you things. We want to, I want to be your Kool-Aid, but I don't want you to Get drink it or sip it, Kool-Aid, okay? I, I want you to swim in the Kool-Aid, man. I want to, I want to basically, we want to blow your mind so you lose your mind. I talk about this in the Millionaire, in the Millionaire Booklet. Millionaire Booklet. Dude, you don't blow your mind, you're going to be middle class the rest of your life, okay? If you were brought up poor and middle class, the first thing you have to do is get your mind blown so you don't have time for zoos on the weekend. Just making the decision. Dude, I can't even imagine going to the zoo. You know? Dirty ass zoo, lines everywhere. Smells like just dookie. Huh? <laughs> Smells like dookie Walk everywhere. around with the kids, look at the zoo. Dude, I can do the zoo on the freaking, on, on, on YouTube. Dude, you watch yeah, in that big old TV, Nat Geo, turn the... Man, I can, I can sit down in my house on YouTube and say, you want to see a gorilla, baby? Watch, okay? Now, if I'm going to go to a zoo, I want to go to a safari. Dude. Huh? You feeling me? Dude. I want to get it, dude. I don't want to go see a shark uh-huh. and freaking uh I want to be in the cage in Cape Town. Dude, I want to be down underwater, I man, be in that saying, cage come on, whitey. <laughs> <laughs> can I use the white word? Yeah, you can. Yeah. I can use the white word, but yeah. not that... No. No. Cracker! <laughs> cracker shark! Come on, cracker shark! Bring it on, son! Bring it on, cracker <laughs> shark! Okay, Ron from Cali. What's up, Ron? Ron, Ron me, how bro. are you? Hey. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you, bro. Okay. Hey, come, hey Uncle, Uncle G, how are you? Good, man. We're good. We're good, man. I got all the hey, silverbacks yeah, out of my life. <laughs> my name is Raman. I, it's not Ram. Ramen. Ramen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ramen. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Jared. I, hey, you know what? I mean, I was in the office. That's why initially I was like, you know, uh, you know, people. So one of my friends in India, he introduced uh, you at uh, UC. I mean, then, I mean, I'm in San Jose, but I, I never knew about you. Until my friend in India, he has a startup company, 
So he introduced me. Since then, I've been following all your shows, and uh, I'm a software engineer. Uh, but you're, also you're doing top, my uh, network top marketing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome, dude. So, thank you so much, uh, DC, for doing the network marketing mothers show. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It really takes guts to do a show like that. Uh, you know, advocate the network marketing business. Thank you so much for doing that. Yeah, you got awesome, it, my man. friend. From India. He's talking about on Mondays, we do a show called Grant Cardone, on Grant Cardone TV called mm -hmm. Network Marketing Moguls, where I interview seven figure earners. Mm -hmm. Now, why do we do all this? Okay. Look, we created Grant Cardone TV. By the way, we don't, we don't, none of our, none of our content that's on YouTube is monetized. If you'll just pay attention to some of the things totally. that we do around here, we may Edu just edutainment there. That's edutainment. Because we don't want people, I don't want you getting hit with antidepressant ads. Mm -hmm. I don't want you getting hit with gorillas uh, at the zoo. Yeah, I don't want do bouncing cats, okay? I don't need you getting mm -hmm. hit with freaking pornography during the day. Mm -hmm. We we don't have that monetized. I can make a lot of money from you too totally. with the number of hits that we get. Mm -hmm. But I don't because I don't want the audience to get distracted, man. To get you gotta distracted. control the environment, man. We created Grant Cardone TV so that we control, okay, we took a show off our network this week because it is not congruent with my message, yep. okay? And I'm like, I don't want that freaking message. There was an interview done this week. I'm like, dude, I don't want, I don't want anybody in my audience, anybody that follows me. It's a freaking silverback gorilla. Yep. So I'm like, boom, shoot it in the head. I mean, literally, 10 o'clock at night, I said, take that video off the station. I don't need to talk to anybody about it. The guy that did the interview, don't need to talk to him, dude. It's my network. Mm -hmm. Shoot the freaking gorilla, bro. See, now here's the thing about shooting the gorilla in your life, okay? You can't have a board meeting. You don't need management buy-in. Mm -hmm. Mommy and daddy can't get together and talk about it, dude. When you gotta take down the terrorists. You gotta step up, own it, pull the one trigger. One person needs to step up, make the call, pull the trigger, kill the freaking target, okay, and then sit down and say, hey, you gotta go clean that up now. Mm -hmm. Even if it's the wrong thing, somebody's gotta squeeze the trigger. You're home, <laughs> in your office, okay, in your division, in your department, okay, in your life, somebody's gotta have the courage to pull the trigger. And if it's, a, if it's the wrong thing to do, dude, so what? Move on, find a new gorilla. You made a mistake. Yeah. So what, man? But you got it. You got to protect your environment, and we talk about it all mm -hmm. the time here. You know, customers. Do we have any customers right now we need to get rid of? When I say that, do you think about a couple people? Uh, pr probably one or two. Uh, so, so we put a policy in place. Yeah. Okay, people buy products from us. We have a hundred percent guarantee on our money, and everybody's like, "Oh my God, people are going to do this and they're going to do that." I said, "Hey, it's an easy solution, man. Give them their money back. Put them on a list. Never take money from them again. Yeah, ever. Okay." Never ever take money from him again. I had a guy, uh, he was being negative on a Facebook thing. I didn't say anything about it. I blocked him and I went through YouTube, I blocked him, Twitter, I blocked him. I'm not gonna give him access to any of our information, okay? So what you could do is you could just block all the garbage. Mm -hmm. Block the sewer like you do at home. Get rid of the trash, throw it down the, you know that thing I got at my house? You know yeah, where the I shoot. put it in the chute? The chute. Dude, yeah. it goes down 33 floors, man. I don't keep it in my freaking unit. Mm -mm. No way. Okay, masterminds, audio, video, Cardone U, seminars, conference, trainings together. What are you gonna do? Role playing, dream. GrantCardoneTV.com forward slash mastermind every what? Every Wednesday. 2 p.m. 2 p.m. East Coast what Standard we got Time. About? You wanna talk about this? Yeah, so we just, uh, after last month, we, uh, we had a lot of people that reached out to us. And so many people wanted to take advantage of the offer that we had last month, but they just couldn't come up with a thousand bucks. And so we're like, you know, what could we do that would, what is the, the most comprehensive program that we can put together that will get somebody on the path to millions and cover every single thing that goes in the process along the way? If you're busy making money, man, you ain't going to the zoo. We're talking about make it, how to make the decision, how to build your business, how to grow your business, uh, how to sell, how to close, how to follow up, you know, how to make cold calls. I mean, like literally everything you need to know about how to go out and make millions. And so we put this program together. It's, it's literally, it's called the Playbook to Millions. It's how you can go from zero to a million uh, in. And everything you're gonna need to know, okay? Yeah. First, the millionaire mindset, okay? How to increase income flows. What happens next? Like this gentleman's mm -hmm. like, I got this idea for an app. Yeah, dude, so what? I'm gonna start calling businesses. 
wrong. Mm -hmm. You're going to call hundreds of businesses. You're going to get three appointments. Nobody's ever going to give you money like that. He's taking the wrong route. You don't need a business plan. You need a business mentor. You need somebody that's been there, done that, and says, no, 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 this is the way we're going to go. It's, so called, it's, it's, it's called Playbook to Millions. It's about 25 hours of live GC, one-on-one, -on -one, you and him, Video or audio? Video, baby. Video, video, video that you video. can just play on your phone, okay? Yep. This information has never been released before as a package. It's called playbooktomillions.com, playbooktomillions.com. There's only, the, I mean, the book that goes, the book probably, I mean, all the all the, the outline books for it, I mean, geez, that's probably 400 pages. Yeah, I need, they need to know how much it is, yeah. though. It's $495. But what it, what is it normally? Well, I mean, the, that, the, that the, re, the, re, the retail price is, is $3,500. Yeah, so it's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so folks, Young Hustlers, every Thursday, Friday's Grant Cardone TV, uh, Grant Cardone, um, Cardone Zone, okay, Cardone Zone. We want to help you, okay? If you can't afford that, get a sticker, man. We got stickers. We I want to give 100,000 of these stickers, stickers away. Stickers are free. I want to give 100,000 of these away this month. I'm trying to give away this sticker this month. I want 100,000 of these in the marketplace. You can go to grantcardone.com forward slash sticker. Mm. Grab one, free. You pay shipping in the U.S. 85 cents. In He's the UK, I don't know what it is because they kill you over there. Quids. That's, that, that, Quids. that's their problem and your problem, not my problem, okay? <laughs> Success is my duty. If you don't want this one, we got uh, no negativity. We got obsessed. We got sell or be sold. We got who's got, who's my, got money, my money, which is, by the way, what Playbook to Million or Playbook to Millions is about. We've got the Young Hustler, the young hustler crew right here. Help me give 100000 of these away. The only thing I ask you to do this month is put it on your car, your refrigerator, a window. Put it on something. You can remove it. It doesn't pull anything apart. Snapchat, Okay. Twitter. Put it on something and take a shot of it. Take an image of it. I'll give it to you for free. I want to get 100000 of these in the United States of America. Get them out, man. Until we can start seeing them everywhere. All right, Jared, what else, buddy? Man, I think I think that's all we got, guys. Don't wait. Playbook to Millions. It is literally, literally just got put on sale today. Got to buy it, man. Hey, welcome. Up on it. Welcome. Have a great weekend. Mm -hmm. Start getting ready for this weekend. Get your head right. Get your head right. Hey, and and don't spend any time at the zoo. It's a dangerous place. <laughs> Do you want to?